Hi everyone, welcome to Every Day, your daily stop for virtual reality content. My name is D, and today is a hot as hell day here in sunny California. I have been sweating all day, but it's still a good day because I got to demonstrate the Oculus Rift Development Kit 1 to the Berkeley Institute of Design, who are a bunch of human-computer interaction researchers here at UC Berkeley. So uh, that was exciting, and I, I got a lot of great feedback, a lot of great questions. I was They kept me talking for the whole hour, just answering questions about VR stuff. And I hope I'll, uh, I, I went through like 20 or 30 people demoing. It was amazing. So I hope I'll get more chances to do cool demos like that in the future. Today we will be continuing our Let's Play of Doorways on the Oculus Rift. I will be, uh, I, when we last left off, I made it quite a long way through chapter one. I had made my way to this uh, mysterious house in the middle of the woods and into the basement where I found a bunch of old torture devices. And apparently I have to go around and pick up items and like reassemble the torture devices to get them all working again. I'm not sure why I want to do that, but I will do it because it's an adventure game. And what else would an adventurer do except for that? Uh, this reminds me, there's this, awesome quote from King's Quest 6 where um, where you are on the Isle of the Beast and you've just broken through these three magical traps and and gotten to the center of the island and then the beast comes out and he's like why why did you break through all my magical traps why did you do that and Alexander just says I suppose it is simply na the nature of a prince to break through magic traps he, he didn't actually have any good reason so in an adventure game, uh, putting items together and breaking through traps is apparently what you do. So that's what we're going to do. We are going to continue through this game and maybe get a little closer to finishing chapter one today. Let's see how far we get. Without further ado, let's get into the game. All right, so here we are right where we left off in the room with the two torture machines and this table where I found descriptions of all of them. Didn't I pick these up earlier? Do I have to pick these up again? Give them to me. Give me all the descriptions. And I have to collect items and repair these machines. And that's what I'm going to do. Give me them all. Give me them all. Okay, I've collected the notes. I'm going to use them for reference as I wander around. So I, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but when I was the last time I was editing uh, a Doorways video, Ah, scary music. Um, the last time I was editing a Doorways video, I noticed that there's... I haven't seen this machine before. Look at this. It's got a lever, and it's got ropes and spikes. Why does everything in this game have spikes on it? This game should just be renamed Spikes. Anyway, um, the last time I was editing it, I noticed that there's this weird effect in which sometimes one eye will actually update while the other eye is not updating. I'm not sure how that can happen, but it does. And this sometimes results in this really weird effect where for a second you just like lose focus on the scene and then you get it back. And, and that's definitely a problem with this particular demo's rift integration. What can I do in this room? I don't have anything to put in there. That's fine. I'm gonna go looking for more items to repair these things with. I can't just have torture machines and not have them be fully operational. What would be the use in that? Hello. Hello, log. It's better than bad. It's good. Alright. This is a big spiky wheel. Why did I feel like there would be spikes? I feel like, like this would just like... I don't think this is a torture machine. I think this is a quick death machine because you would just have these giant holes in people and they would be bleeding out very very quickly in like 30 seconds there's no way this could be used for torture absolutely no way also it looks kind of huge it looks like it's about six feet tall and like four feet across it is a four or five feet across even it's a big big wheel oh hello do i want that uh, it won't let me take the peg i probably don't want to take the peg i probably want to do something to it like put a wheel on it so i can turn it i don't know but I do have a log now, and what can I do with a log? Oh, here's a... Can I take anything in here? Or is this just some kind of storage room? I don't see anything I can do in here. Okay. Let's see. 
So dark. So I've mentioned... Ah, what's going on as I approach this wall? It kind of turns... It turns... It lights up a little bit, but only... A, it makes these two little circles. That's weird. Okay. Um, yeah, dark... Uh, dark regions like this don't look so great in the Rift Development Kit 1, as I've mentioned before, just because it has an LCD screen, and the brightness is set... It's, the contrast rate here just isn't very good, so this looks this looks gray to me. It looks like I'm, like, looking at a giant gray card that's covering my face. And with the OLED screens, this will look a much deeper, richer black, and that'll be really nice. Uh, to be able to be in shadow and actually feel like you're completely, like, actually in the dark, like somebody turned out the lights, rather than like you're staring at a light through a black sheet. That'll be really nice. Oh, hello. I might need this. Give me that. That, how did I miss that last time I was in here? Very nice. Honestly, like, they call this a survival- Oh, hello. Oh, wait, are all the items that I picked up last time all back? Oh, it must have reset me to... Okay, yeah, that's why all the notes were on the board again. Okay, that's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind. Um, yeah, this game, like, they call it a survival horror game, but I haven't actually had to do much to survive yet, other than, like, even if you, like, get killed, it just resets you back, like, ten feet. So, the punishments are just not that bad. For, for dying in this game, and not that much super scary happens, although there is a lot of scary atmosphere. But really, I think at its core, this is really more of an adventure game than anything. Because you've got all these puzzles to solve, all these items to collect, all this kind of stuff. Put the log in. I want to put the log in. Okay. Not like Kenny log in. Like, put the log in. Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Log. And can I use any other items in there? There's probably a faster way to bring up my items. I just don't know what it is. I have another log. Put them both in. Was that helpful at all? I'm not sure that was helpful at all. Um, items. Why am I putting all these logs inside? Um, I'm going to use this twisty thing now. Okay, that didn't help. I, I think where the twisty thing's actually supposed to go is on one of these um, things that has a missing a missing turn handle. So like this thing definitely I think has a missing turn handle. So I'm gonna put it in there. Yeah. Holy shit! Holy shit! What was that? Holy. Okay. So apparently when you complete a torture machine, you get a lovely vision of that machine being put to its original purpose and the lights turn out all around it and I, I I think the music might actually be getting scarier okay then that's fine that is fine I am completely fine <sighs> okay what's next what's next um, I'm gonna grab this thing can I use it here I don't think so I'm gonna use it on one of those other machines is there something over here I think there is there's two rooms over here Six machines. I have to worry about all of them. Anything in here? Okay, I just see a cage here. Oh, wait. Wait, is that a log? Is that a log? Give me. Give me. Rolls downstairs, even in pairs, rolls over your neighbor's dog. Okay, this is the chair looking one. I, I feel like if you sat in this chair, you would have a lot of trouble getting up again, and like not because it's super comfortable, rather the opposite. Ah, uh, and that's where I need to use the one spinny thing. That matches the other spinny thing on the other side there. Okay, I'm gonna see if there's a key for inventory. Um, I think I? Yeah, I does it. Okay. There we go. Holy shit! That was not nice to that ghost girl person in the past do not do not do not put them in that chair you are unkind to ghosts Ooh, I found another item once the lights go out it's a lot easier to find the items because they all glow for some reason 
I guess, like, since this is a dream world, I guess it's okay if things glow, because, like, maybe they glow because they're important to the, the person whose memories it is. That's my theory. That's my theory. That's how glowing works in this game. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. This hallway feels like it's about maybe six, eight feet wide and definitely eight to ten feet tall. It's fairly spacious. The doorways feel very tall. These, these are like ten foot doorways. Eight to ten feet doorways. They are quite, quite tall. Even pretty wide. Like, I feel like this doorway is like three feet, three, four feet wide. There's not many doorways in this game. Like, this, this game is very fond of over large, unnecessarily large doorways. I guess that's where it gets its name. Okay, it's very dark in here. I'm gonna see if I can fix this thing. Oh, do I want to pick up that thing? I don't think I do. Okay, I need to put something like this, but on the other side. But I... hmm. Okay. I'm not totally sure... oh, oh, it needs a replacement. For whatever... okay. I'm gonna pick up my inventory, see if I have anything suitable. How about this thing? Let's give it a try. No? Alright, that's fine. I'll be back for you. Torture, stretch, rack. I'm surprised I haven't seen any kind of Iron Maiden in here. I would expect to see that. Okay, can't use it there. I'm I'm at this point trying the all permutations approach to adventure games. Pick up all items, use all items on all other items. Okay, that's not going to be useful. I don't know why I thought I would be able to use this handle on that thing. Definitely not useful. What about this thing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Might be on this thing. This looks like a good plan. Let's do it. And turn it. Turn it. Turn it. Do I have to repair more? Do I have to put one on the other side too? I thought I thought it would be done. What else do I have to do to this thing? Push, pull. Push. Push, pull. Okay, it's not cooperating. That's fine. That's fine. Um, gonna bring up my inventory, see if there's something I can use on it. I only have a log now. What am I gonna do with this last oh, I know what I'm gonna do with the last log. I'm gonna put it with the other two logs. They will all be a la happy log family. Happy log family on the torture machine. Oops, went too far. All the all the lights in here make that mainline buzzing sound. That could get irritating. All right, let's put them in. Ah. Okay, so that's what the wooden wedges were for. For um, apparently forcing somebody's legs into those spiky things. That is unpleasant. Highly unpleasant. Okay. Uh, what do I have left? I only have left the, um... I don't believe I have any. I don't, no, I don't. Okay, if I want to fix the other torture machines, I'm going to have to collect more items. Um, but where? Where? Where am I going to get them? Did I overlook some? Everybody look for glowy things. Any glowy things in here? No, I already picked up that one. Um... Alright, I, I can solve this. So apparently my motivation in rebuilding these torture machines is to have a better understanding of this guy's mind so that I can catch him in real life. Apparently he is still out there doing creepy things. Oh, hello. Okay, you're a spiky half-bull. <laughs> Where did you come from? <sighs> He's gone. He's gone. There was no way out of the cell. Oh my god. I thought I was dead. I thought I was gonna die. Okay. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. I, I don't wanna I don't wanna go in there. That's dark. I'm just gonna find the torture machine that I can repair using this half bowl. Okay, okay, I'm fine. Guys, guys, I'm fine. I'm fine. What was that sound? I have to keep going. I have to keep repairing the machines. You can't get me. This is all a dream. This is all just a dream. Can I open this gate? 
I don't think I can open this gate till I'm done with the machines. Um. Can I use my new item on this thing? I doubt it. I doubt it. Wait, I know where I need to use this thing. I need to use it in the head crushing machine. In the head spiky turny thing. You know what I'm talking about. The thing that they put their head in or their neck in and then it comes down. This thing. Yeah, let's put it in there. Let's go. Yee. That that seems like a highly unpleasant way to slowly die. I would I would not enjoy that particular exercise. Okay, I'm doing fine. I'm doing A-OK -okay here. Do I need to pick up any other items in here? I don't see any in this tub. I don't see any. I wish I could lean over with like with positional track and look into these tubs. Get a better look to make sure I'm not missing anything. Oh god, like, I'm, I'm thinking back to, like, old adventure games like King's Quest 4 where they would hide items, like, behind things and you had to, like, say, look behind this item to make sure nothing was there. Or look under rock to see if there's anything under the rock. And I wonder if they'll do things like that with positional tracking with DK2 where you literally have to, like, duck down and look under the table to see if there's any items you need under there. Because they could totally do that now. Alright. Um, which way am I gonna go? Let's see, I need to fix this. So, there's a handle. I feel like I should be able to just push the handle and make it go, but I can't. Do I have to put something on the other side? I don't think so. Okay. Huh. Puzzles. Puzzles. Puzzles are hard. You guys probably saw the item I need, like, way back there, and I just totally missed it. Is this the room I was just in? Hmm. Okay. There's this thing. This thing I need to put something there. Uh hide and seek games, hide and find the find the things game. This is the most morbid find the items game I've ever played. This is like the horror version of Where's Waldo. Did that door close? Does that mean there's nothing more I can do in there? I guess that's what it means. Okay. Well, that does narrow down my search. Thank you for that. Is there anything I need in this darkness? I I don't think so. I can't see a damn thing in here. Okay. Um, which way am I going to go then? Do I want to go... Well, obviously I have to go to the part that isn't closed off. And there's probably some item I can get around here that will help me. Nothing here. Behind here? Behind here? Hmm. Behind this box. No, nothing behind the box. Maybe it's in this room and I just missed it? With the head crushy thing? That's just a pipe. I don't need that. Here are some logs. I don't see any items, guys. There's no items in this room. This room is item free. Okay, whatever. Whatever. Let's get out of here. I must have missed some somewhere. But I searched this room like five times. All over. If I miss something in here, I am going to feel dumb. I don't think I missed anything in here. No. I do not believe I did. Let's go check somewhere that I haven't checked already a million times. Just somewhere I've checked half a million times. Like this room over... This hallway, for starters. Anything back there? Anything back there? Ah, oh, the scary music is driving me crazy. Okay. What about back here? What about this store? I never found anything in this storage room. There's gotta be something in here. Hello! Oh, 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 I need to put the rod in the lever and use the rod to turn the machine. But where am I gonna get a rod? I need a rod. So I had to find the plan for the final machine. Then I had to find I have to find the rod so I can complete it. There's the rod. Hello rod. I found you. I should have known there was something in here. They're not just gonna have a random room. Rule of conservation of detail and all that. Okay. Let's put the rod in. And then we can turn the wheel. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. 
Okay, that was horrible. That was horrible. That's just fine. Okay, what else do I actually have to do? Um, just the just the one, right? The one in the in the back with the that one. Yeah, this one. This is the remaining one to take care of. Okay, I will I will check my notes. Um, that's not how I check my notes. Um, like escape. No, that's not how I check my notes. Um, tab. Yeah, notes. Okay, I did the wheel. I did the chair. I have not done this thing. So it's telling me... I need the rod. I need the rod from the wheel. I need to get it again. And use it on this one. I need to reuse it. Oh wait, 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 wait. Can I get the rod from this end? And move it? No? No, I can't. Alright, I'm going back for the rod I already used. That's my plan, I'm gonna reuse it. I don't think it'll- I don't know if it'll let me- Oh. Oh. Well, it looks like I'm not going back in there. Which is fine. So there's gotta be some place very nearby where I pick up the rod I need to complete the final torture device. Oh boy. Okay. I can figure this out. I can figure this out. can't disassemble this thing. What about up there? No, I don't see anything up there. Hmm. In this dark area? I think I already checked here. Something on the ground here. I don't see anything on the ground. Okay, I'm gonna have to do some searching here. I can't open this gate yet. The gate remains locked. So, somewhere here I have to find... Hmm. Can I just pick up that broken thing on the ground? Uh, there's gotta be something I can do. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let me consult my items. I believe I just have the torch. Can I use the torch? That's crazy. Can I use the torch? Oh my gosh, I can use the torch. I never imagined the torch would be reusable for this completely distinct and horrifying purpose. Awesome. I've opened the door and the way forward. So... Let's go a little bit farther and see what awaits us here. Is this an elevator? Where's the elevator gonna take me? I don't know, but I'm pushing the button. I'm pushing- oh god, I'm going down. That's not the direction I wanted to go. I don't want to go even deeper down. Oh no, oh no. Oh shit. And my game just crashed, so I believe that was the end of Chapter 1. I will pick up next time with Chapter 2 on my next play of Doorways, and I will see you guys then. Everybody have a great every day.